In painting can be used to remove, or rather replace, content in your images, and can be applied with both a brush tool and selections. I'll show you both approaches. First, I'll cover the inpainting brush tool, which is part of the retouching tools group found here on the tools panel. To access it, you can long click on the healing brush tool, then release the mouse button over the inpainting brush tool. I'll make sure I have a suitable brush width and that I'm working on the correct layer. Currently, I have this HSL shift adjustment layer selected, so I need to choose the background layer, which is my main image. I can then click drag and brush across this wire, spanning the top of the image, then release the mouse button, and Affinity Photo will replace that content. In painting can also be performed non destructively rather than overwriting pixel content on the chosen layer. To do this, I'll create a new empty pixel layer on the layers panel. Then on the context toolbar, I'll change this option to current layer and below. Now I'll brush over this bird to the right and release the mouse button. It will be removed from the image, but the inpainting result has actually been put on this new pixel layer, which is now compositing over the original background layer. Therefore, if I hide this pixel layer, the bird will return. Now I'll show you how to inpaint using selections. With this image, I'll long click into the marquee tool group and choose the freehand selection tool. Then I'll change the selection type to polygonal. This allows me to single click to create node points, which will eventually become a selection. So I'll go around the overhead power lines and the wooden pole until I'm almost back at the first node point. Then I can double click to close the path and create a selection. At the moment, I have an adjustment layer selected, so I just need to make sure I select the background layer, which again is the image content. I can then go to Edit, In Paint, and the area I have selected will be removed and replaced with content from the surrounding areas. I can now deselect using Command D on Mac, Control D on Windows. For the final example, I'll show you how to add to an existing selection so you can inpaint multiple areas at once. With the freehand selection tool active, I'll change the mode from New to Add on the context toolbar, and I'll create my first path going around the power lines and the poles here, like so. Then I'll double click here to close the path and create the first selection. Now, because I have the mode set to add, when I create the second path and close it, it will be added to the existing selection. I'm using the middle mouse button to pan as I find it intuitive. You simply click hold on the middle mouse button and move the mouse to pan. Alternatively, you can hold down the spacebar key and left click and drag to pan as well. I'll create the final path just going around the wire like so, selecting that little area there and then I'll double click to close the path and create the selection. Now once again I have these two adjustment layers, one of which is currently selected. I just need to make sure I have my background layer selected. Then I can go to Edit, In Paint, and finally I can deselect to see my newly in painted content. So there we go, that was a quick look at how in painting works in Affinity Photo. I hope you found this video useful, and thank you for watching.